What's up, family? All right, special guest. Thank you for freaking joining. This is Simon. He started what the biggest flat earth group for, what, a year, a year and a half. 50,000 members. He's made a ton of memes. He's a celebrity in flat earth. I'm glad I finally got to meet him. Pleasure to meet you. Likewise, likewise. And, yeah, and the hospitality is 10 out of 10. Thank you. So we're here. I want to ask him, Simon, how did you find out about flat earth? Uh, telecommunications. That's your job, right? Yeah, yeah. I've been doing it for over 20 years now. I'm a um, owner operator, and I'm a field engineer, and I'm certified by the state, Boy State of Video, Fire Life Safety. I'm also um, a journey, sound journey, sound communications journeyman. So, I I have a long a long time in the field and learning, and I did a lot of uh, studying and finished the apprenticeship, went with the IBW. So I know all about um, the history of telecommunications and um, electrical field engineering and all that. And uh, you said it was the dishes? It was, yes. Uh, it was the parabolic um, antennas. Um, I used to, I was started doing some um, some uh, line um, lineups where you, where you, they're putting a whole new trail, uh, track homing, track homes, and they're putting the houses next to each other in San Bernardino, and they were all next to each other. So I went to one house, and I did one parabolic antenna, then I went to the other house, the other parabolic antenna. I started realizing on the paperwork, the specs are they're the same azimuthal position, and the same uh, elevation, and the same. Uh, yeah. So they're pointing the same. They're parallel. That's, yeah, exactly. it, that's what we call parallel. So once we once um once by the time I got to the end of the block, I realized they cannot be possibly pointing at some small little thing in space. <laughs> and that just if there's no way. I, if I if I'm standing with the same azimuth position with a gun and the same elevation, and I shoot. Yeah. And you do go down two blocks down the street and do the same thing. We're not pointing at the same object. Okay. And that was how long ago? Because you've been oh, in this for what? Oh, that was years. That was years ago. And I, I stood quiet for a long time. Um, well, actually, I started, I started questioning, questioning that. And uh, that was before I went to the, to the apprenticeship and did the, you know, learned about field engineering. So um, it was already not making sense. So by the time I got to the apprenticeship, I, um, I learned about uh, a little. I learned a lot about Marconi. Very little about Tesla. They had like you know just one little small thing about Tesla. They didn't. They kept him quiet. They didn't bring up anything about him. Because they want to push Marconi. Yeah. And okay, so Marconi, I learned about Marconi. Marconi, um, he went and he was the first one to um, transmit the the first transatlantic transmission wireless, which was in 1901. Okay. There is no way that there was any imaginary satellite UFOs even as a concept at that point. So for someone to to um, to transmit uh, a signal across the Atlantic Ocean, you would have to like literally be, that destroys the curvature. Yeah, that totally destroys the curvature. Yeah, there's a radios um, in Russia. Have you heard of this? And they can hit the east coast of the yeah. U.S. It's called ham radio. Yeah, ham radio. Ham radio works from the United States to all the way to Australia, from from El Salvador all the way to Russia. It doesn't matter. Like those, and they know how it works. It it bounces off the ionosphere and. Although they may call it the ionosphere, you, when you look when you look at, across the sky, you can see that there's some type of flatness. Isn't that the WM maps too? Uh, it shows all the stars are flat too. Have you ever heard of that? Yeah. Okay. So what do you like your best proofs? Once you started looking at the the satellites and how that can't make any sense, did, well, where'd you go? You know, was it like Eric Dubay on YouTube? No, or, I didn't like, even know Eric Dubay. I didn't know any of them. I I I um started the electric flat earth theory and I, I went off of the infinite flat plane but I added in the electrical uh, uh, the electrical part to everything like the electrical logic to it because everything everything has to do with like our nervous system perception thought mm -hmm. data uh, voice sound all of that is electrical signals all yep. of that yeah and if Your you metabolism look at the, is electrical ev yeah everything yeah so, so I started training my brain and I lost 10 pounds in a week. My brain coach was the one who told me about Flat Earth. And I was like, I called him. I said, why am I losing weight? I'm scrubbing up in the shower and I lost all my belly fat. He goes, Nate, your brain's a generator. Once you turn it on, you start firing electrical signals. The energy has to come from somewhere. So my body just started cannibalizing fat off my body. I lost 10 pounds. And ever since then, my brain coach, you got to look into him sometime, dude. So, so Simon, 
who are some of your mentors in the flat earth? Like, who do you, I know you're an OG, but who do you look I don't, honestly, I didn't even, I, I never, I never thought of it like that or, or even, you know. Who do you um, learn from? I, well, I, like I said, I was the one that wrote up the electric flat earth theory. I, and, um, you could find it, oh, you know, I, I have had, I posted it a few times. It's, it's pretty much a, an electric, uh, infinite, uh, flat plane of existence. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of a dimensional realm. And the sky, the heavens, is not what they told us. It's not relative to us. It's, yeah, a, yeah. it's something we could see another realm, but it's not. it has nothing to do with us. We can never... That's another thing about electrical... By electrical engineering. As all these electronics and everything, including our bodies, um, we have electrons. And these electrons need to get back to the ground. The electrical earth ground is essential... And a requirement for all electrical systems. You cannot sit there and tell me that um, that this is not uh, grounding out when it is. You're touching it. You're t- it, when you connect it to the plug, it, it um, the ohms, ohms yeah, lock okay. kicks in. So it doesn't matter. So all these electrical equipment <coughs> would not work in space. So what do you think about the sun and the moon being uh, positive and negative? I, I, I agree. I agree. Right. I, I agree that there is like a. Um, the what we see in the sky is not is not part of our realm. Um, it is interconnected as like an electrical circuit, and these like there's when you when you look into the sky, you have lightning and an electrical potential up there. You can't fly around in a metal box. Yeah, and you can't have metal boxes flying around above your head, just floating constantly, dropping. That's the funny thing too. Oh, it's constantly falling. Around the globe, it's con- I love that. Yeah, one. The, the, that whole graviton um, uh, theory that you know. I mean, first of all, Newton did not understand electrical theory. He had no um, he had no comprehension of that of electrical of elect- electrical magnetic uh, spectrum or any of that. He was trying to figure some of it out. He's the one that came up with the prism. There's like a little picture of him playing yeah. with the prism. Have you ever heard of green tips at sunlight uh, at sunset? This is one of my favorite proofs that the Earth is flat. So prisms, if, you, if the light's coming from abro- above, the green is on top of the red-orange-yellow spectrum. Mm-hmm. But if the light is coming from below, then it flips, and the green comes from below the red-orange-yellow spectrum. So at sunset, if you look at the sun, sometimes the tip of the sun will turn green. That's proof that the sun's just really far away and still above the, the atmosphere, and the atmosphere is working like a prism. So I, <coughs> like, I, I heard the sun turns green. I was like, that's the craziest thing I've ever heard. The sun turns green? What? I look into it. Looking at green tip sunsets. They're beautiful. You know? It's the green flash. The green flash. Well, there I we mean, go. You, you do see the, the aurora lights are green, and, and we, all, we all know that electrical... That's why I use, that's why I use the green color <laughs> with all my memes and all the... Yeah. Because um, for some reason, the human being um, is attracted to the, work, to the, to the color green. Um, it, it catches a, it catches a, a human's um, attention and... And it catches their their eye, you know what I mean? And for some reason, you think that's why they made money green. Yes, I yeah. absolutely. Yeah, social engineering is is a, is a, a fact that some assholes in the background have been engineering what what we what we want what we see and try to um, make us believe other things that were that aren't even that you know aren't even there. First of all, like the curvature, we don't see the curvature. I don't yeah. care. There's, there's no, there's no yeah, yeah. There's no there's no sand. Like all of that is imaginary, and I know that like it's. All of that is just strictly imaginary. You see it in, a, um, you, you know, you watch TV, you listen to the radio too much, and it, it, it will influence you no matter what because that is your electrical signal. Yeah, so they call it a TV program. Yeah, it's program. It's programming. Program. They've been doing studies since the 80s on monkeys to find out how fast to flash a TV to make it super suggestive. So they, how fast to flash the images. So they've been studying this for 30 years. How to make TV suggestive and to program people with it. <coughs> yep. Good stuff, dude. So, what do you see, uh, what, what do you think the next false flag will be? I'm curious, Simon. Well, we already see it. There are, you have, um, the news is showing about, um, this weather, you know, they're, they're, they're lying about the weather and saying it's, uh, worse than True. what it is. And, um, in a couple months, you have Geostorm that's about to come out in the, in the theaters, which, I'll be honest, like, I, li- I like those movies. I just know that they're not reality. <laughs> so they were already prepping every. Um, they're already prepping everyone, the mainstream media, to worry about this 
uh, weather issue, and all of a sudden this movie's coming out. So, so uh, what's the craziest thing that happened because your roof? Like anybody ever like personally mess with your house or your family? Oh, uh, believe it or not, um, I didn't know. Okay, I didn't know Eric the Bay. I didn't know Stars Are So. I didn't know any of those guys. I released Electric Flatter Theory, and, and I got um, Daryl Fox's attention and um, Thomas Hand's attention, uh, Antonio Diaz, um, uh, there's a, a couple other people that um, I can't think of right now. Well, I can't think of, but there's just, there's just too many to name off, but mainly them. So so I got their attention, and um, well, first I got Daryl Fox's attention, and he, he was he's already big. <laughs> Socially, like yeah. he's already has all. Well, he's a for... Satanist. <laughs> yeah, he's, you know, like, yeah. and he dates transgenders. <laughs> and I he think, did it, right? <laughs> like that's a dude. His girlfriend's a dude, right? He did. It, he did it at first. Oh, that, okay. that was a shock to all of us. Okay, for real. Yeah. Oh, and so, 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 anyways, um, Eric DeBay, I mean, Adams, Eric yeah, DeBay attacks me. Uh, all of a sudden, Eric really? DeBay just straight up attacks me. Oh, 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 he, he attacked. Because I ruined his book sale, supposedly. No way. Why? Oh, because yours was a conflicting theory. Mine is a better theory. Cause electric, electric theory was actually out before you came up with it, but it wasn't for the flat Earth. Um, it's like about the, EUT. The Tesla models, actually, if you com- if you compare flat Earth to uh, <coughs> the Tesla models of everything, uh, the way that his electric things were based on the I was the one that related plane. all that to Yeah, so that's so that's uh, that's actually more relative, but uh, somebody actually came out with that theory before you. It was, um, he wrote, uh, uh, Worlds in Collision. Uh, the, the, the guy's name is Emmanuel Vilikowski. <laughs> What's up, Fred? His, his, uh, I'm going to be in uh, Kansas City universe, soon. But with no, no, yeah, no, I'm no, going to Ohio. Ohio. No, see, the, the EUT failed. No, I'm going to Oregon and the, the tomorrow. The EUT and then I'm going to go because Denver, Kansas they still, City. They still consider I gravity go as a force. Out with even though Ernest and Harvard, they, they so. reject it as a being. Any questions? The force. What's up, Brad? Good to see you, Brad. Furthermore, any questions for Simon? Furthermore, they don't have anything. scroll up. See if he's. You know, they don't have. Cough, cough, cough. Yeah, I know. This edge, so it's that edge thing. Where they start talking about oh dark, gosh, uh, dark energy and black holes. They still cling to that. They still cling Hello to an edge Kansas of reality. City. Blake, something we're gonna that be there I just, soon. I, I totally, I, I totally reject, and I, I totally hey, reject up, any any type you. of concept where there's an edge to reality, or there's an ending, or there's like an apocalyptic end, or of darkness. I just, I don't, yeah, I don't just see. what's beyond your perception, and then they just make something up about it. Cool. And, and it's oh, always you can't know that, so it's this. It's always a scary story. I got a story like that. It's all extortion. Mm-hmm. Isaac Newton himself said that in 2060 the globe's gonna end. So hey, Newton. you globe heads, 2060 you guys are gonna your prophet, your holy prophet Newton. <laughs> uh, Newton. 20, 20, Newton. I swear, 2060 he said it's good, the globe's gonna end. I didn't, I've never Newton heard that. Stole a bunch of mathematical theories from other people who had actually published those theories before he was the one that was given the credit for them, and you can just look that up really easily. With it. Well, it Pythagorasm—that's that's what it comes back down. It comes up to Pythagoras, who's a fucking crazy, insane nutcase. Okay? Oh, that guy was pretty smart with the with the mathematical. Uh, he was a thief. Oh, oh, Simon, tell me about this. He came up with the really. Do you so, know how he died? The town got together and they killed him. They stabbed him to death. Why? Because he's probably messing with people. And he stabbed his own best friend. Because his own best friend, um, um, his own best friend, uh, um, theorized um, irrational numbers, which destroyed yeah, yeah. most of Pythagorism's own rules. So he, they got into the argument, his, and he ends up stabbing. Only good by threes. He he figured out fucking threes and triangles basically. Hey, well, Simon, why? For all we know, he's for all we know, he just stole a lie. He was a thief. What's uh? What's your best answer? If someone goes, hey, Simon, why why would they lie? Uh. Globalization. Like we go back to this thing about there's an edge and there's not an edge. There's a there's an end to reality. There's not an end to reality. If this is an infinite flat, flat plane and we can, can just continue moving forward and continue like, expanding and expanding, then that's a threat to uh, to whoever's in charge. They have to tell us that we're on a small ball. In other words, yeah. to keep us yeah to keep us enslaved. That's enslavement. That's all it is. It's mind control. control. It's mind totally. It's beyond mind control. This is it's a sit. It's really it's evil. This isn't beyond. Yeah. This is socialism. Well, we're all on a on a grand mass scale, we're talking about all the human population has to believe in one reality, one ending. And that has no they're, proof. They're and there's no proof. They're destroying our savants before they even have a chance to excel yeah. by, by putting these stupid ideas in their head. And it's not true. You can't prove it that it's true. It's just a it's a package okay. of, of ideas, and it's cutting off a bunch of of, uh, of, of possibilities by just eliminating, by telling people that it can't be that. But there's no proof that it is. <coughs> this is Jay Rovita. Jay helps run Flat Earth Blacklist. Jay, real quick, give me, I'm going to 30 seconds with Jay, because Jay knows everything about everything, okay? 
Jay, in 30 seconds, tell me about um, geoengineering. Oh, geoengineering. Okay, if you think geoengineering is crap, well then why do the ski resorts in Europe do it and they, they just openly, they're just very open about it. They say it enhances the snowpack on the mountain this much. It's great. So they just don't say they're doing that here. If they're, they're just not saying that they're doing it. No, they they're, really they're spending less money not disclosing it and just telling everybody they're full of shit than they are dealing with all the lawsuits because they're poisoning everybody yeah. when they spray that shit over somewhere. It comes down. Yeah. Uh, Jay, 30 seconds. Freemasons. Talk about them. Nah, Freemasonry. Man. It's a giant club. It has levels of people. If you're at the bottom level, you don't know the same thing as the people at the That's top level. True, right? You should probably read their material. It's available in PDF all the way across the internet. All of their material is linked onto the internet in PDF. Jay, in 30 seconds, tell me about snipers and the Coriolis effect because you were in the military. I don't really have to say much. The sniper <laughs> manual does. Download it and show me where it says Coriolis or curvature in any calculation for any sniper any, anywhere. In fact, I'll, one, I'll, I'll do one up. If you did have to calculate for Coriolis, you'd have to carry a compass with you and you'd have to do the angle every time you were shooting from the angle that you were at to, yes. the, to the Coriolis effect. Who's going to do that? And you think a bunch of Marines can do that? Okay. Okay. <laughs> you don't know enough Marines. Jay, 30 seconds. Uh, foot call pendulum. The pendulum. Actually, a woman said this best. She said the boys were yanking each other around on a stupid idea that you could swing this little thing and it proved anything. How about this? When my ceiling fan's off, the little things that hang from it don't spin. Jerry, look so, your head. <laughs> oh, there we go. Right? It's not, it's not doing any... Okay. It doesn't move unless you move it. They have to pull it back, let it go, and then reset it every once in a while. How does that prove something's spinning? All right. Censorship on Facebook. 30 seconds. Censorship on Facebook. I am blocked right now for 30 days. <laughs> Fuck you, Facebook. I'm on live stream on somebody else's account. You can't block me. You can't block any of us. Yeah. You can't stop us. You can't block us. Blocking us does nothing. You're just slowing us down. And everybody knows what you're doing, too. Ringing the likes, ringing the shares. Why can't we see who's sharing our stuff now? And then, fit, and then go to their page and see who shared it off from there. I'll tell you why, because they don't want you to know how many shares there are. Yeah, so, all right, we're going to finish up tonight. Simon, thanks for the interview. Cheers, bro. I love you, bro. Thanks for having us over. Likewise. And uh, everyone have a good night. Keep it flat. And I'll see everyone. I'm traveling across the U.S. again. So uh, much love. Peace.